What's going on guys? My name is Absolutely Blake and welcome back to my channel. This week we're doing 50 more facts about me because I just don't think that you guys know me enough. But right before we jump into that video, I want you guys to tell me if anybody's going to Veld Music Festival in Toronto August 7th and 8th or August 6th and 8th or 6th and 7th, one of those dates, because I'm this close to buying a ticket to that festival. So if you're going, leave me a comment down below telling me that you're gonna be at Valve and we're gonna meet up. But you should probably get to know me a little bit more before we do, so today I'm gonna share some deep stuff with you. And like the last one, if you hear a fact about me that is also a fact about you, I don't care if you need to leave me a thousand comments, comment down below each and every fact. And because I can't count to 50 without having to think about which one I said lastly, I'm just gonna put the number up there. That way you know which fact I'm on and you can type the number. That's enough rambling, let's get into it. I eat one food at a time. If I have a plate of food, let's say I've got peas, mashed potatoes, a steak. By the way, my place never looked like that. I eat like shit. I can't eat my steak if I'm already eating my peas. I gotta finish my peas first, then I gotta finish my steak, then go to my mashed potatoes. I hate having one bite of one thing, then a bite of another messes me up a little bit. I sleep in my boxers. I used to sleep in a t-shirt as well, but I outgrew that, but I still can't get myself to the point where I sleep naked. And I've mentioned this before, and it's because I'm too scared that if something happened, like a zombie the apocalypse or maybe not that intense burglars or my house was on fire they would go for my penis first I just feel that it's too free and I know that the fire wouldn't go for my penis first but I'd have to run out of the house naked and that's just embarrassing if you notice in most of my photos I don't smile and that's because I think I look really weird because when I do like even when I talk this part of my lip it doesn't like go down like the rest of my lip see look at that oh it's this side for all those people that want to know what camera I film with I film with the Canon 80D and I only just got that last month and the reason I like it is because it auto focuses on me while I'm recording, which my other one didn't. So I used to like film videos and then find out they were blurry and have to film them again. But now if I move forward, it's gonna focus on me. And if I move back, it focuses back on me. So I'm always crystal clear so that you guys can get that perfect image of me. I actually hate watching my own videos in front of people. The other night I ended up at some condo downtown with two people I had never met before and they wanted to watch my videos and I just felt so awkward. I get asked this question quite a bit. What's my favorite video on my YouTube channel that I've ever filmed? It is 100% the drunk yoga video I filmed. My favorite fast food place is A&W and close behind it would be Subway. If I don't know you, I'm actually terrible at keeping up a conversation. I consider myself to be a a little bit socially awkward. If I do know you, once I get to know you, you can't get me to shut up. I will tell you the most random stories about the most random things that I've done, which leads me to my next fact. I could start talking to you about one thing and then totally end up on a different subject without finishing the first story and then remembering I need to go back to that story and then telling you that one. I have a very hard time keeping track of what I'm talking about. <laughs> Despite popular belief that my anal experience was with a guy, it was with a female, all four times. I might have mentioned this in the last video but it needs to be brought up again because I'm trying really really hard to stop but I have a really bad addiction with biting my nails. I don't know why I always want to have my fingers in my mouth but if you guys have something else I could put it <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. PlayStation 4 is better than Xbox One. And Fortnite is my favorite game. 27 wins. <laughs> I know that's not a lot, but it's a decent amount. My go-to deodorant is Old Spice Champion. Good you boys. Champ! Having a career in entertainment, like being able to make people laugh or like make people's days is definitely a dream of mine, which is why I'm really hoping that YouTube kicks off and I'm able to do this full time to just make your days better and just talk about the most random shit, you know? Even though you guys see me at my most open with these story times that I post on my channel or with all these fact videos that like dig deep into who I actually am. I'm super shy. Like if I'm hanging out with somebody that I've just met, I'm like not very open. I kind of like keep to myself and just observe what's going on. Although when I see somebody that I'm interested in, I'm confident in the fact that I can go up and start a conversation. It's just that I have a hard time continuing the conversation. My favorite inspiring quote is from the TV show, How I Met Your Mother. And it goes like this, conformity. It's the one who's different that gets left out in the cold. I fucking love that. <laughs> I am actually so lost in life with what I'm gonna do when I'm older or like career-wise that it actually scares the shit out of me. I just applied for university, so hopefully I get accepted because that's my backup plan if this doesn't work out. I've had two wet dreams in my life and they're some of the best orgasms I've ever had. If I had the opportunity to go back in time and change some things, even though I'm loving where I'm at right now, I think I would, despite knowing that it could change how my future ended. If I could travel anywhere in the world right now, money's not an issue, it would be the Maldives. Go swimming with some whale sharks, some giant manta rays, the fishes, just all the fishes. 
This one's gonna sound stupid and I know it's dumb, but it happened when I was young. I have over seven speeding tickets. They're all off my record now, but when I was 16 and I first got my license, I was a dumbass and decided to just go fucking pedal to the metal everywhere I went. Somebody asked me if I would give a blowjob to save somebody that I loved. The answer is yeah. I speak my mind no matter what's on it and sometimes that's not the best. My biggest fear is not being able to say goodbye to like my friends and the people that I love and my family or even you guys. Like I could step out outside after making this video and get hit by a car and then poof, I'm just gone. So it like digs inside of me knowing that I'm not gonna know when it's gonna happen, hopefully not anytime soon, but not being able to like get those final words in with some people, which is why they say life's too short. If you have something to say to somebody, you should say it, don't hold grudges. I hung out with Eliza Taylor and if you don't know who she is, she's the main character Clark from the show The 100 and we had a heart to heart about our relationships. It was like the coolest thing ever and I hope that I get to meet her again. I have a hard time staying in one place. Despite the videos that I have posted recently, I don't want my channel to be a solely sexual channel. I want to get out and do things and bring you guys places, but don't worry, I'm not going to end the sexual videos because I also do want to prove that people can be open and be who they are and not have to worry what people think of them. There's so many people that hate me. It does not bother me one bit. <laughs> my most played song right now is Surprise Yourself, the Manila Killer remix. I don't want to have kids until I'm in my late 20s or early 30s. That being said, I want to have one boy and one girl and I'd like the girl to be born first. Watch, I'm going to be the guy who fucking ends up with triplets. I consider myself very good at giving advice to my friends when it comes to things like relationships or like what they should do, but then I'm very bad at listening to my own advice. This one's going to sound mean, but if I had to save either my mom or my dad, it would be my mommy. I love her. I would love to actually meet every single one of you. If I was to eat any kind of cookie, and I don't really eat cookies, my go-to would be Oreo. Just the regular kind, none of this flavored fucking mint shit. Regular Oreos. My job right now is serving, and I absolutely hate it, but I do it for the money. This is gonna lead me to a story time, but my first orgasm was on a blanket. I like to act tough, but I'm actually like a little bitch. I consider myself to be very blunt if I know who you are. Like, I'll tell you if you have something in your teeth, or I'll, I'll let you know that you're acting stupid if what you're doing shouldn't be done. And I'd hope that if you're like my best friend, you did the same to me. I've pierced my nipple just to see what it felt like. I'm the worst when something traumatic happens to me. I act impulsively, which actually damages the situation more. So if somebody does something to me, I don't sit back and think about what I should do. I just react. And I think that is one of my worst traits. My go-to masturbation spots, the shower. The one thing that I've never answered on my channel is how many people I've slept with. That is the one question I will never answer on my channel because that's just too deep. I'm insecure about my hair, but despite filming my last video without a hat on, you guys were really nice and complimented me, so maybe I will put some more out like that. I get too attached to things that I like. This one's kind of like, aww. But I actually do have a dream of starting a family one day and living in like a cute house, having a wife, you know, making food. Dream job, stay at home dad. Film videos for you guys. The wax that I use in my hair for anybody that wants to know is bed head matte separation. I have been to the hospital more than 25 times for broken bones, torn ligaments, being sick and having infections. I should probably be more careful with the things that I do. And yeah guys, I hope that was 50 facts. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It helps me out a lot and subscribe for new videos Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday.